Hello everybody and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be looking again into the V-Rage 3 updates. You guys seem to love the last uh, video that I made on this subject, so I'm going to do another one. And for good reason, I was looking on the good old X, also known as Twitter, so I've come across a couple of videos and photos and things that have changed in the V-Rage 3 engine. Some little leaker footage, you could say. It shows a dam getting shot and uh, actually leaking due to uh, the water behind flowing through. Which is uh, really cool. As you can see in the background of this video, you see the video playing. It's quite basic at the moment. Um, I'm guessing they haven't really tried with any of the actual like, looks of the water and stuff yet. Or at least in this um, bit of footage. But I think it's more just the physics, because if you look closely, you can see that towards the top, the actual flow rate is slower than if you look, if you can see the uh, damage at the bottom, how much more force of the water is coming out. And that's actually quite realistic. Uh, I am actually a person who can talk a, bit, a little bit about this, with being an engineer and all. Uh, the lower down you get into water, the higher the pressure, which means the more force you have, the more force and more energy that the water has. And so, if you make a hole towards the bottom of a dam, the amount of flow rate you're going to have is going to be much higher than if you have a uh, hole at the top of the dam. So, it's really nice to see that they're actually using this um, velocity forces and stuff like that. Uh, another interesting thing... I can see is if you go or if if you look at this little bit here that should be on screen now there appears to be some like tools on the uh, spectator uh, little toolbar uh, which I'm finding quite interesting so we have a plus and a minus interesting we have it strewed I honestly don't know material does that mean we can change the state? Because I'm guessing this is all for liquids. Does that mean we can have, you know, water, fuel, gas, oil, lava, you know, them, them kind of things? And then we have mass fill, plus and a minus, and a constant. Now that's really cool. And the other thing I find really cool is just the fact that we, well, this engine is going to be capable of building a dam to actually slow water. If they don't have some kind of a block in the game, right, which is like a, um, capa not capacitor, a generator, where I can make a water wheel, so I can make a dam, blocking off a bit of a river, then have a fl like little gaps to control the flow rate of the water, into a nice little water wheel and as that rotational force gets turned into energy I can power something. If I can't get that I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> or just having you know more cool things. One interesting thing that they did I was looking into the comments and they did say was there will be a system in place to be able to suck up the water, store it into tanks and then from there either drive it somewhere else, or transport it somewhere else and drop it off, or convert it into, you know, our oxygen and hydrogen. A little bit like how ice is nowadays. So that is really, really cool. I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and the other thing which I did see that they have done is they showed um, a photo here of a iceberg just in the water. Um, and that's really, really cool. I'm hoping that means that they're going to, you know, have uh, bigger oceans. You know, if you made yourself like a boat or something, you can actually go quite far into the water. I don't know if these icebergs are like solid voxels or if they're going to have some physics to them. For example, if you, you know, dig a hole into the iceberg and let the water fill in, is it going to sink? That would be cool. But the other main one is if I was in a boat or something and I crashed into the iceberg, would the iceberg get pushed? 
That's what I want to know. But these are really cool things. Uh, it's obvious that they're trying um, a lot of work into the different biomes of the game, or they're going to. You know, we're going to have tundra areas and then deserts. And I don't know if it's going to be realistic to how a planet is. Like, are we going to have, you know, deserts towards the center line of the planet? And then as you go out, it gets colder. We're going to have a two poles. I, I don't know if that's how they're planning on doing it, or if it's just going to be randomly generated. But that's interesting. And then there's also just some other interesting photos, which I'll put on screen now, showing just the voxels uh, and just... The game, it looks like a different game, in my opinion. Like the, I think just the fact when you add water, it makes things look much nicer. I think also just the craggier surfaces and like the more material, it's not just all grass or all stone, it's a mixture of them. And especially when they start integrating different types of materials and stuff, it's just going to be so much more something, you know, more lively. The one concern I have is if they put all the effort into all of this, make the landscapes look nice, you know, water physics are good, I'll be happy with all that. But if they don't work on any kind of life in the game, wildlife, random physical NPCs that walk around, more sort of AI controlled ships and stuff, they can land, they, they'll actually come over and talk to you, you know, if you had other AI factions in the game. If they don't add these kind of things to the next iteration of Space Engineers, I don't think it'll do that well. Yes, Space Engine as a whole is a building game. It's really good for that. It has, I would say, by far the best engine out of any game in terms of its physics. I've, I haven't come across anything which quite compares. But it does lack life. You can get away with it partially on servers, but even then, it's, it's not an excuse. It's not a reason. We, we need to see more life in the game. But that's all I really have to say for this update. Um, let me know your thoughts of what you think this up or what 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 your opinion on this sort of uh, little teaser is. See, let me know what bits you think is uh, really good and which bits you were sort of you know happy or sad about. And are you in agreement with me? Do you think the game needs more life? If so, let me know. As always, my name has been Quantum Truth, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!